a need to uh, be prepared for that. So we should yeah. jump into a uh, good old crisis here, giving Let's people giving people hope. Yeah, it's pretty dope. So they, I have the tweet loaded up here, and that's really all they've done so far. And I imagine yeah. they're going to build like a you know whole marketing campaign for whatever this actually ends up being. But there's a tweet. Mm-hmm. It's just from the crisis main account. Just says receiving data. And of course, everyone's jumping on and uh, just commenting. And one of the first ones here is uh, DiGiorno. So the, their, their tweet from Crisis is receiving data. And D- D- DiGiorno says, just don't deliver the data. Um, everyone else just kind of <laughs> <laughs> jumps on board. You even have Mixer. Yeah, their they're, they're, uh, social media is on point. Uh, Mixer has us just, just says, uh, returning to our nano suits. Uh, has a um, a gif of the main dude from like Crisis Three, um, but yeah, everyone's jumping on board. Everyone's super excited. The actual tweet itself. They that's were all fun I... games. Oh, Did yeah. you ever play a Crisis? I never finished the first one. I think I jumped into the third yeah. randomly, but I always dug it. And they're synonymous with when it came out, really benchmarking your PC and like that that mantra, that question, like, oh, yeah. can it run Crisis? Never went away. It seems like it's always been in, uh, ingrained in us since then. I would still argue to this day, Crisis One through Three. Uh, look better than a lot of games that are out now and yeah. it's a whole generate like crisis 3 was last gen right yeah you're right so it's like yeah 360 ps3 that, that, that's when i played it was on consoles but yeah for sure yeah yeah my like i i remember when i got my pc loading up crisis 3 and just seeing how far it could push my pc and it, it's whew, that is but they also did some they had some interesting tech with their textures uh that made everything super efficient uh, well, at the same time, you could go right up to something and it'd still look good. And I don't know if people aren't doing that anymore. Uh, it's it's interesting. Um, do you think we see just a um, remaster of the original three? Or do you think they actually are working on a new entry in the Crisis trilogy? I'm going with reboot. Mm. I, 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 don't, I don't know where the story is in these games, but it'd be, it'd be interesting to see a reboot for sure. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what i want i think my question though is do they drop the cry engine because it doesn't feel to me like they tried to make it an actual you know like yeah it was a first party engine and then they tried to you know have it be technical superior and then eventually they were going to sell it but no one really used it Mm. and unreal has integrated and incorporated like a lot of the unique stuff that Crytek had. I remember it was so cool when Crytek was one of the, I want to say one of the first engines that allowed you to be in the editor and then you hit F5 and then boom, you're in the game. Like it was one, I, 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 it was definitely one of the first AAA games that people were playing and could do that. And that was such a absolute mind blow. They could play the game in the editor, pop back out, change things up a little bit, pop back in. And it was so quick and me and my friends in college were just mess around making all sorts of crazy levels. That's where I have my my story about how um, <clears throat> we were playing multiplayer and he'd built uh, this big giant tower with elevators and tanks sitting all around it. And uh, and uh, and I was up in a tank. Uh, I think everyone else was dead and I was in this tank and I was looking for my buddy who I knew was in a in a in the spaceship thing, this Harrier and uh was looking for him and he he pops up in his harrier and clips me just off the top of this massive tower and i'm spinning like a million miles an hour and i just had this this glimpse of a moment where time just slowed down it just slowed down right as my cursor went over him and i knew this is my moment and i clicked (laughs) and i got him with my tank spinning like a million miles an hour (laughs) and i legit did it on purpose i never like i never have any cool mlg moments but that was (laughs) that was 100 percent on purpose that was all me (laughs) that's dope and that's all because of that crazy editor where you could just make batshit crazy stuff and they brought that into um you know the the far card games which i know that allowed right. them to build stuff faster and now that's a very common thing like unreal definitely has that built in i don't know if unity does probably mm. but yes that live preview and that was such a revolutionary thing um and yeah. that came from crisis al- along with a lot of other cool techniques but uh, yeah. that was a big one do you have any interest in them kind of 
just uh, up resing, remastering the original three? Like, could that be a cool like bonus? Or I wonder if there's a lot of build and they end up just going, hey, it's coming to coming to Switch. Like original Crisis, like if that's what the end end result is right. from this. It comes to Switch. I don't think it could still run it. But uh, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Like up resed. I mean, you could you could probably just load them up currently, like on my PC, and it'd still look competitive. So I don't yeah. know that's necessarily appropriate to do so but i don't know so that's why i'm saying remake or start right. start from the beginning or reboot there we go reboot gotcha but like an actual new entry with a newer revised engine yeah. and that kind of thing yeah that'd be dope i would love to see these two because now i picture these two titans clashing with whatever the next entry is in, in doom eternal and then crisis mm -hmm. like these huge juggernauts for for pc players like seeing them clash like who can pull out the best graphics and the best gameplay uh i want to live in that future where we now have to debate you know these two next right. next gen games coming out it'll be interesting to see there's so many techniques that have come out like uh i i remember uh crisis had um at the time it had the really good uh screen space ambient occlusion and when i was watching that video on um <clears throat> it's it's what adds like slight shadowing so it would do like oh that okay shadowing uh into like little small cracks and crevices and look makes things look more realistic uh and then since then the industry apparently recently has switched to instead of screen space ambient occlusion it's screen space illumination so it's like the reverse and that allows for really high fidelity uh you know lighting and reflections and i guess it do has that effect as well i know they were talking about digital founder was talking about that with the uh gears of war upgrade and so it's interesting and yeah there's so many techniques that these guys could throw into this engine and just make it look even batshit crazier so no i'm excited uh i never finished any of them really but i always dug with the original the way they uh, overlapped or like mixed the jungle like combat and then it, it start to integrate like these crazy sci-fi monsters and aliens like I loved seeing yeah. those two kind of styles uh, clash in the game and so I just want more of that um, but uh, yeah uh, I can't wait to see what they're actually teasing here I, th I think one more thing I would say on it too is back back in the day those I, I don't think anyone has developed better looking heads uh, than they had back in the day with Crisis and part of that was a cool piece of technique that would really uh, the further, the closer you got, the more polygons it would be there. It had that that tech where you could like go through the ears and through cartilage, and they had this crazy tech. So even back in a day when no one could pull it off, they had almost photorealistic looking heads. Like it's it's stupid good, still better than most anything today. So I don't even like it. Just look like photorealistic heads. I feel like if they do this again, it's gonna be really strange. <laughs> Whatever they do. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping that they really have been working on this engine behind the scenes and and mm -hmm. are prepared to blow everyone away. I'm 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 really excited for what they actually show off. This this could be awesome. Yeah.